hello hello welcome back to my channel I am color me bad Lynn, back with an amazing share of some beautiful scented candles uh, that I found of course at Aldi it's been a while since I've come on and shared any of my favorite scents from Aldi grocery store and that's basically because I had plenty of candles to take me through the holiday season and I don't do a lot of shopping during the holiday season because that's not what it's about um, I normally tend to prepare ahead of time for the holiday season and I try not to spend too much money so I don't go into the new year uh, befumbled uh, and so I do want to come on today and share some amazing amazing candle scents uh, that I did find at Aldi and so if you're interested in finding out what those candle scents are if you don't already have them in your collection keep on watching Again, welcome to my channel. I am Color Me Bad Lynn. I am a beauty professional. If this is your second, third, fourth, fifth time seeing any of my videos, greetings and salutations. And welcome back to my channel. Of course, on my channel, I feature mainly fragrances. Fragrances that are uh, in my collection. Those that are on my wish list. Um, also, we talk about uh, natural skin care. We talk about a little bit of makeup. Uh, we'll definitely tap into talking about hair, especially natural hair, uh, wigs, weave, love, romance, relationships, dating, family issues, and faith, most importantly. And so again, welcome to my channel. Um, it is a new year, and so for those who haven't seen me or talked to me, um, we probably don't talk that often anyways, but I do want to meet and greet everybody on this video again and say Happy New Year. I know we are more than halfway into the first month of the year, but still Happy New Year to you. Alright, so I want to start this video off by uh, sharing something that I like to do. It's not a ritual or any type of a weirdo type of a habit that I do. Um, but I like to purge um, negative energy out of my life from time to time, uh, you know. And one of the ways that I do that is I write down uh, on paper the things that have disappointed me, the things that have uh, hurt or offended me. Because, of course, you know, the Word of God says that we are not to take any offense. Uh, and so sometimes things happen to us in life and we hold on to them. Um, we can lie about it all we want to and say, oh, that's no big deal. I forgot about it. I forgave them. Let's move on. Um, and you don't always get clarity in life from certain situations. Um, and, and, you know, that's just the truth of it. Um, but for me, what I like to do is I like to get rid of um, cleanse my spirit my some people may call it a conscience um, just to kind of get rid of and purge and detox uh, from things from situations um, and people who have you know disappointed me whether it's throughout the whole year uh, people that I may have disappointed on some kind of a in some kind of a way I like to purge that energy uh, from my being and again one of the ways that I do that is I write down a list um, of the things uh, that happen uh, things or people uh, that I've encountered that may have hurt me um, or disappointed me in some kind of a way that just took me way too long to get over um, this is not like a cry for help or a pity party of any sort. I am a full-fledged grown woman, uh, extremely connected to God, um, and I just like to make sure that my conscience is clear. Um, I don't want anybody out there thinking I've been out here doing people wrong because I that's not me. That's not my character nor my intention. Um, but time from time to time we all encounter people who come across our path and come into our lives 
and they leave with unfinished business um, whether it is their behavior um, things that they've said uh, intentionally to hurt or harm you um, running away from responsibilities and things of that nature um, and you know and you I don't know if you've experienced these things in life but I'm sure if you're over the age of 18 um, you know some people don't apologize they just don't uh, they don't see any wrong in their behaviors they don't see any room for correction in their life their behavior or their character or the lack thereof um, and they just go around in life hurting people whether like I said whether it's with verbal abuse mental abuse spiritual abuse and physical abuse as I've shared earlier um, in several other videos uh, I am a domestic violence survivor uh, without going into detail um, years ago uh, dealt with the situation uh, that I, I was able to live through um, with my, my mind intact my spirit and my soul intact and came out of that situation um, wounded uh, but definitely alive um, and uh, we all know that whether it's physical abuse uh, whether it's spiritual mental verbal it's all abuse um, and I think that a lot of times we sugarcoat uh, those particular experiences and give people the benefit of the doubt especially when it's family I think a lot of times uh, family uh, takes it upon themselves those that call themselves family take it upon themselves to feel like they own a piece of you especially if they've ever done anything for you or given you anything and then that also gives them the right to say uh, whatever uh, to try and dim your light in any way possible and so I wanted to come on and share what I like to do um, one of the things that I like to do uh, besides going through consecration um, to get rid of those things to get rid of those energies and cleanse those energies and so um, what I like is something real simple I take a piece of paper just like this nothing fancy write down the names of those people, those situations, those occurrences that took me a minute to get rid of. Even if you don't lose sleep at night, if it bothers you, if it haunts you, if you think about it, if you go back and check yourself and figure out, well, what did I do? What did I say? What, you know, what is it about me? And oftentimes it's not you, it's the other person or the other people. And so you have to get in a mode in your life where you get that healing that you need through counseling, um, through spiritual um, advisory, through the word of God, where you're strong enough to regain your security, to regain your strength and your self-esteem, okay? Um, and to do some soul searching and digging and find out what, what is it about you? that allows that type of demonic evil traction and traffic into your life where you accept it and you devalue yourself to the point where you allow those types of um, energies and people and situations to come in um, and to attack you okay so this is what I like to do real quick like I said I write down the situations the names uh, the occurrences it could be something really small it could be something really big if it bothers you you need to deal with it because the small it's the small foxes that spoil the vine and a lot of people don't realize that every little thing that happens to you that you hold on to can create a root of bitterness down on the inside of you okay roots of bitterness grow they blossom just like anything else and if you don't deal with those roots of abuse what or hurt or disappointment whatever the situation is 
that grows. It grows. It festers. And that's why we deal with so many people in this world who are angry and bitter and violent um, and um, have no moral value. They have no reverence for God. It is because of those things. They've allowed those bitter roots to continue to grow and fester. So this is what I do again. I write down all the things on a piece of paper. You don't have to necessarily do this at the beginning of the year. You can do this whenever you feel that it's necessary. You don't even have to do this. This is just something that I do. Everything on this piece of paper. I ball it up. Sometimes I ball it up. Sometimes I don't. I take a match or a lighter. And I just set it on fire. Okay? Now for those of you guys that are like prayer warriors, you love to meditate and things of that nature, you can put this on your altar. Try to make sure that you don't use a high ink content of, pa of paper because you will smoke yourself out of your home. <laughs> and so, but this is what I like to do. I'm going to put this inside of a, a glass. I'm going to blow it down because it's going to burn. Okay? And we just want to get rid of all that negative energy right we want to get rid of all of that okay so that is what I do to get rid of people places and things cleansing my spirit of those who have hurt offended and disappointed me so that I can move freely and clear now let's get into these candles alright so let's get into these beautiful scented candles again I am infatuated with the candles at Aldi. I love them uh, without saying too much about them. And from time to time, I like to go and kind of load up on my candle scents. I love a certain candle scent aroma um, in my home. And I found that these candles are absolutely amazing. Um, the last candle haul that I did back in, I think, maybe right before fall which was the end of summer um, those candles lasted me a great deal of time um, I have encountered some different scents that I absolutely adore from all these and I wanted to come on and share those candles with you you may already have these candles in your collection but fasten your seat belts so let's start with the first one that I really really like this one is from Huntington home this one is called first snow and I thought this was very, very uh, smart to come on and share this one. I don't know if you can actually see the name of it. Let's bring it in here and see. Well, we had it. There we go. As soon as we get it, we kind of lose it, don't we? Well, we want to get it and keep it. So let's see what we've got. Can you guys see that? Okay, so this one is called First Snow. Now I'm going to take the lid off of this one. This one is a Huntington Home Candle. It is a one wick. This is absolutely gorgeous. It really is. Very creamy. Very light. Um, if whipped cream had a smell to it, kind of like a whipped creamy, kind of a marshmallowy, very light. Lightly scented with a little bit of vanilla. Um, it almost smells like hair oil. Um, so it's probably got a little bit of lavender in it, but not too much. A little bit of coconut oil there. Very, very delightful. Um, this is a scent probably that a lot of gentlemen would like um, because it is not extremely fragrant. Um, it's very nice and light, um, but it is really, really a beautiful, beautiful candle. And I thought it was appropriate because we just got our first snow here in the city that I live in. So I thought this was appropriate to come on and share this one. Alright, so our next one that we have is a Huntington Home fragrance as well. And this one is Huntington Home Frosted Vanilla. And I really like the top. It's got a little snowflake on it. So of course this is from their winter collection. Frosted Vanilla Soy Blend Candle. Okay. So we'll bring that one in. If you guys can see that the light is so bright. So you may not be able to see that that well. A little bit. A little bit. Alright. 
So this one is really interesting. Again, this is frosted vanilla. And uh, they had a lot of vanilla scents. And I'm not a huge vanilla scent lover. Um, but definitely um, this one got my attention and really tickled my scent palette. And so I thought that this would be an amazing scent to grab and bring home. It is absolutely gorgeous it's light um, it is creamy um, it does have that vanilla scent in it it kind of smells like K roll syrup for all of you old school people um, I have my grandmother my father's mother is from Kentucky and so they didn't use uh, she didn't use Mrs. Butterworth pancake syrup she used K roll syrup and there was another syrup that had a rabbit on the front of it and so that's what I grew up eating was like the the uh, uh, not K roll syrup, but there was a syrup with a rabbit on the front, and I can't remember the name of it right offhand. I'm gonna look it up after I record this video. Um, but that's the type of syrup that she used. Um, it was a little bit healthier, and it was extremely rich. I mean, you needed just a little bit of that syrup to kind of sweeten. Um, your pancakes and that's what she used to use and that's what this smells like to me I find a lot of uh, sweet scents and things like that that remind me of the things that she used to cook and prepare because she used to allow us to sit in the kitchen with her when she prepared things and so that's why I remember so many things about a lot of the things that she served us um, when we were kids because if she was preparing breakfast for us or something like that she would allow us to watch her and that's probably how I ended up learning some of her recipes, um, especially her but her uh, infamous banana pancakes, which I have those down to a T. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, this is frosted vanilla. This reminds me of my childhood of being at my grandmother's house, my dad's mother. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay, so this next one is kind of off the, the season subject but they had it out and of course you always know that stores are always ahead of the game you know the day after uh, Christmas and New Year's they start putting out Valentine's Day candies and um, bouquet you know uh, all the stuff that you buy for Valentine's Day which I absolutely love so I can't I won't complain about it um, and this particular scent they set out this is for like I would say maybe spring early springtime um, this one right here, and I probably should have saved this one for last. This one is an explosion of gorgeousness. The name of this one is again a Huntington Home Candle. This one is Tropical Escape Scented Candle. I can smell this candle without pulling the lid. It is that gorgeous. And I always give my son, and today my daughter was with us. We were all together um, uh, doing a little grocery shopping. And we were, they were bagging the groceries, of course, because in Aldi's you do bag your own groceries unless you bring your, you know, bring your bags or you purchase them. Um, but it's worth it because they have so many great things in there. Anyways, they were bagging and I was popping the lids on candles, letting them smell them because I don't always get a chance to allow my daughter to smell the candles that I choose. And when we got home, I always run these by my son too because I love a male opinion about them because... It tells me which one is more feminine, which one is more masculine, and things of that nature. This one right here is a hit. This one is Tropical Escape. It is papaya. It's orange. It is... I don't know what in... I don't know what in the... But when I tell you this candle is at... When I say it, I hope they don't run out. Because I got to make another run. This is gorgeous. Do you hear me? Again, Tropical Escape. I'll bring it in a little closer so you guys can actually see the name of it. So that if you are if you have all these in your area, um, you can actually grab this one. It is gorgeous from begin. I mean, this is ridiculous. It really is that beautiful. Okay? So I wanted to come on and share this. It is so gorgeous. It's juicy, it's fruity, it's sweet. Like I said, I could smell this one when I picked it up without popping the lid. It is just so... It's good. 
it's good good they did an excellent job on this if you love citruses and papayas and oh absolutely gorgeous so this one again is tropical escape from hunting and homes found all of these candles uh scents at aldi grocery store all right so the next one i'll save my my favorite one for last so the next one that i want to share with you guys and i'm trying to find out if this is a huntington home candle as well this is definitely an aldi exclusive candle um yes it is huntington home as well and this is from their design i guess their uh design home collection this one is red currant cream isn't this sophisticated and beautiful look at the design on that isn't that pretty absolutely gorgeous okay so this one is red currant cream candle berries citrus and vanilla yes this smells like you know how back in the day of course they still make them like your dream sickles this is and you know they came out with dream sickles with the grape flavor so if you go to a really good grocery store you can get the orange sickle and then they also make grape sickles that is this but on a whole nother grown folk adult level this is so beautiful you guys if you love black currants um, if you love vanilla if you love your juices and your berries this is so divine it is like great creamy grape juice a little bit of strawberry absolutely divine I absolutely love this candle it is so so beautiful and I picked these up on a humbug because I really wasn't looking for candles um, but I had to grab that one now for the Dame de Leon the cream of the crop you know I had to find one that just set all these candles apart this again is from Huntington Home and this is from their uh, their elegant home collection this one is called orange chocolate here is the little symbol there I'll bring it in a little closer so you guys can actually see that okay orange chocolate so this one is again orange chocolate candle it has orange chocolate and vanilla the resistance this is heaven in a candle when I tell you even if you don't like the smell or you're not a huge chocolate eater like I'm not a big chocolate eater unless it is really rich real milk chocolate and I'm not talking about Hershey's chocolate I'm talking about that's not real chocolate I'm talking about real milk chocolate that is inside of this candle real rich vanilla real rich orange juiciness inside of this candle this is top quality this would be an amazing gift for anyone who is like a gourmand lover that loves the scent of um, sweet and savory if you love if they love chocolate I'm a white chocolate girl I love white chocolate confectionery chocolate and then if I do have a, a milk chocolate or a dark chocolate it's got to be real chocolate none of that waxy stuff and that is what this is this is absolutely gorgeous when I tell you they got this right I ended up getting two of these and one of them is actually um, going in the living room and it fills the whole house it is and it throws off a beautiful warmth from it um, the flame by this being a one wick candle but it throws off a beautiful you can kind of see it there it throws off a beautiful beautiful scent okay so again hunting in homes my number one candle out of the ones that I found that I'd never smelled before um, orange chocolate is my absolute favorite so if you can get your hands on this scent right here you are in for a treat sexy 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 watch it <laughs> absolutely gorgeous so I just wanted to come on and share um, those scents of candles because it's been a while since I've been in Aldi uh, doing any grocery shopping and if I do shop in Aldi I'll do like Instacart or something like that um, especially since I've been quarantined 
this is day number six for me so you have to excuse my manicure or the lack thereof I'm not thinking about nails I barely put on a little lip color for you guys uh, so I hope you understand but I've been homeward bound um, but I did want to come on and share those candles since you know because when you're in the house doing nothing trying to heal and get stronger you want to make sure uh, that you stay busy and so excuse my voice and my nails I'm, my voice is getting a lot stronger I can still sing though and then this I know that looks terrible doesn't it and I pulled out my manicuring kit uh, and uh, just to kind of clean up my nail bed and uh, things of that nature and I didn't get very far as you can see you know I'm at home it's no big deal uh, but I did want to share that with you. I'm looking a little scruffy, but not dusty. This is Color Me Badly, and I wanted to, again, come on and share those beautiful candle scents with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the beginning of this video of what I like to do to get rid of and cleanse and purge those things that um, hurt, offend, and disappoint me. Uh, those are things that I like to do just to keep myself clear and to keep myself um moving freely in life um and it also helps with the forgiveness process you know um just because you forgive somebody doesn't mean that you uh should allow them back um in a close proximity of you to continue to do those same things you know a lot of times people don't change no matter how many chances we give them uh, they don't change most oftentimes people get worse especially when they know that they can get away with doing certain things or saying certain things to you uh, and so don't take it to heart um, try not to get so offended in 2022 uh, um, none of us are perfect um, we are all just trying to make it and hopefully better ourselves you got some people out here that you know they don't care they don't find anything wrong with their behavior and their character and um, the devil and so a lot of times, you know, you'll find that, you know, some people just aren't going to behave the way that you expect them to behave or give you what you give out. Um, and you just have to uh, settle in your mind that you're going to come across people uh, like that. And you have to learn how to get along with people. Um, if you have to deal with them, you got to deal with them and try not to take offense um, to the occurrences that happen. Uh, for you not to you but for you because it's all for your betterment especially if you belong to Christ um, and so I just wanted to come on and share that because you got so many people that hold so much um, and I, I used to be one of those people I didn't know how to let things like release things from me you know um, that's what it's done for it's done to 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 pile on top of you what their issues are okay it's it's done to it's done to to bring you down and dim your light, and so you have to learn how to remove those things and detox, so you can continue to flourish in life, um, and continue to to move along the path of your destiny uh, for your life. You can't allow things to stumble and block you and hinder you uh, to the point where you have no movement um, in life. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys because I come across a lot of people that are bitter and they're angry and hateful. Um, and I try to give people the benefit of the doubt um, because none of us are perfect, you know. And um, but we've got to learn how to let those things go and get healed from those things. So when the right people come into your life and across your pathway, that you have something to give them. And stop giving away all your goods to people that don't mean you any good. They don't deserve you. They don't. They don't. So stop it. You, you mean more. You mean more than a devalue of yourself. Find your, find your worth. Learn your worth. And stick to your ground. Set boundaries for yourself. And wait. This is Color Me Bad Lynn. Saying thank you for watching. I love to share. That's what I'm here for. Um, a person that has and doesn't share, it's, it's just a waste. It really is a waste. As the word of God says, a greedy man troubles his own house. Can't take it with you. Knowledge is infinite wisdom from God, so we have to share it with one another. 
make sure you hit that like button if you like this video make sure you comment below or send me an email i hope you enjoyed the candle share all these has got it going on guys get on in there and get you a couple of good scents and light that house on front make it smell good good bye bye peace